DeepSeek just launched their new model, which is R1. Now, R1 is a model that is on par with OpenAI's O1, which is a closed source model. And here is a graph for their benchmarks. You can go on and read through all of this on their GitHub. I will be providing the link in the description. If you go to their docs, you can see that the performance is on par with OpenAI O1. Also, it is a fully open source model. And the best part is it is distilled and it is commercially free. But if you're using the R1 API, it's going to cost you around $0.14 per 1 million tokens. And this is with cash a hit. With cash a miss, it's going to cost you around $0.55 per million tokens. And as for output API price, 2.19 per million tokens, which is really cheap as compared to the closed source models out there. And if I go and view the benchmarks here, the blue one is the R1 and the gray one is the O1 from OpenAI. And as you can see, it is on par and sometimes it's performing way better than O1. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see it clearly. So there you go here, it's performing better in math. And if we go with code forces here, you can see that it's almost in par with O1, which is a closed source model. Again, this is a really great opportunity for you guys to actually try this out as it is completely free and open source. Now, with all that said, let's actually dive right into it. And in this video today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can access this on their DeepSeek chat, as well as how you can access this locally and install this using Olam on a machine and use it inside VS Code through the extension continuity adapt. And lastly, I'm going to show you how you can locally integrate this inside bold.dyi and create apps using it. So without further chatter, let's dive right in. Hi, and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host Shamriz, and we're finally diving into DeepSeek R1s because I'm going to show you how you can actually assess us. So if you go here, chat.deepseek.com, you can actually open this up on the web and use it. All you have to do is just click here to enable DeepThink R1, or you can couple this up with the search functionality. So now you have the web and the DeepThink model working for you, and then you can go ahead and ask your questions. So this is one of the ways of assessing DeepSeek, and I'm going to show you three different ways of how you can access DeepSeek. But for now, let's just go and ask you to create a space invader game. Create a space invader game using html javascript and css there you go so it's actually going to go and start thinking so you can see the thinking part as well but you can just click here and just hide the thinking part if you want to do that but i think this is really cool so it's saying okay i need to create a space in a game then it's saying that i have to structure it using html then you have to use css for the styling and then the javascript part now we have the html code popping up here as you can see so there you go it has generated the whole code for us and if i scroll down this is quite a lengthy code but what i can do is i can actually click here to run this inside the browser right now so all i have to do is just say run html and it's gonna run it so i have the space in with a game here I mean, this is not the perfect Space Invader that I've ever played, but that was something created within half a minute and we didn't have to do anything. That was really good boilerplate to get started with to create any game. And I think to come up with this much code for a developer or a coder is going to take more than a few hours. And I think this is a way for programmers out there to be more productive and boost their productivity. So yeah, this was a really basic use case. And I just wanted to show you how you can access this inside your browser. And I just went on with this basic use case because I love this run HTML in the browser. But now let's jump to the local install. And I'm going to show you how you can locally install this and use it using Olama. So for the local install, what you need to do is you need to install Olama first. And we're here at the Olama website. Don't worry, I'll be pasting in all the links in the description. So you don't need to worry about that. Let's just hit download here. Now you need to choose which operating system you're on. I'm on a Linux based operating system. So I'm just going to go and copy this and I'm going to open up my terminal and I'm just going to paste it. Then hit enter and it's going to install Olama locally in our machine. Now, once you have your Olama installed, what you can do is you can go to search models. So you can see that R1 is the most searched recently. I'm just going to go and click there. If you want a low end computer, you can install this 1.5 billion parameters, which is only 1.1 gigabytes. And you can even install the 7B. I personally have installed 7B already and I'm using it. But in this video, I'm going to test out how we can install this 32B. So for this local install, I'm just going to go and select this 32B because my computer is more than capable to actually support this 20 gigabytes of model with 32 billion parameters. So let's go and do that and copy this. 
And one more thing, we also have this 671 billion parameters model, which is not something that any consumer computer out there can support right now. But if you have really powerful computer, you can even go with that. But I would recommend that you go with the smaller distributions like 32B or 70B at max. So here in our terminal, you can see that our Olama is already installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and paste this right here. Now this is installing the 32 billion parameters model and this depends on your internet how fast it is. So mine is almost half a gigabyte per second. So it's going to install quickly. I mean within 30 seconds. So there you go. Once you have it installed, you can actually send messages and talk with your 32 billion parameters R1 model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say hello and then I'm going to ask it what model is it so i'm just gonna go and say that and hit enter and there you go you have the response hello i am deepseek r1 an ai assistant created exclusively by chinese company deepseek i'll do my best to help you and notice one thing we have the think parameters here now if you're using it in the command line it's gonna go with this think parameter and this is something similar to the thinking that we just saw in the deepseek chat now, for those of you who are not that comfortable with the command line, I have this amazing extension, which is continue.dap. And I've been using this for a long time now, and it is really mind blowing. So all you have to do is you have to go to the VS code and there in the extension tab, you will have to search for the continue extension and just hit on install here. And this should install it pretty quickly. So once you have it installed, this should look something like this, where you can get started with this, or you can go to local and actually run anything using Olama. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and close this. And here I'm gonna drag this menu and add a chat module. Once you do that, you can choose the provider. So mine is going to be Olama here. As for the model, I'm just gonna go and leave it as auto detect and just connect. And this should automatically detect the model that I'm running right now on my Olama. And this detected that I'm running two models. One is the R1 latest, which is the seven billion parameters model. And the second one is the R1 with the 32 billion parameters model. So I'm just gonna go and start with the seven billion parameters here. So I'm just going to go and ask it the same question, which is hello, what model are you? And there you have the response. This is an R1 model, which means that our local install is working completely fine. Now, what I can do is I can just click here. I can create a file here, which is going to be demo R1. And then I'm just going to go and name it as an HTML file. There you go. And now what I need to do is I want to generate code using continue.dev. So I can just say control I and it will have the context of the file where I want to generate this code. So I'm just going to ask it to generate a really simple plain design of a to-do list. There you go. Create a simple to-do list app and let's just hit enter and this should generate the code. As you can see, the code is being generated and already populating the file that we have referenced it to. And all I have to do is just say accept and this should be saved right here. Let's go and save this file and I can open this up inside my browser to check out the results. So there you go. This is something that we just created inside our VS code using continue.dev and R1 and it only took us one minute. So I'm just going to go and say I need to do some exercise and I'm just going to go and add that task here. So the task is added. So I can just go on and delete this task or what I can do is I can go on and edit it. So I can change it to workout or anything that I want. So as you can see, now I have multiple tasks here, which is really great. Let me go in and recap this really quickly. You have to go to the Olama website, download it for your operating system. Then you have to search for the R1 model and you can choose any model that you want to download from here. I prefer that you go with the smaller models if you're going to run this locally on your machine. But if your machine is really capable, you can go and try out the 32 billion or the 70 billion parameters model. And then you can just copy this and open up your terminal and paste that there that's all you have to do now this was the second way i have another way for you which is to use this amazing bolt.dyi so i will be providing the github link in the description so all you have to do is scroll all the way down for the developers only section and what you can do is you can just clone this repository so i'm just gonna go and say copy this i'm gonna open up my terminal and here on my terminal i'm just gonna go and paste that i want it on my desktop so let's just clone that once you have this cloned, you can just go and change your directory. 
I'm just gonna do everything by the commands that they have here and I'm just gonna go and paste there let's go and hit enter now the next thing that you want is to go to the main branch so I'm just gonna go and copy that and paste that right here and hit enter now we're at the main branch so once you're inside the main branch what you need to do is you need to install some dependencies for that they're using the pnpm package manager so I'm just gonna go and copy this and paste that inside my terminal and hit enter this should actually go on and install all the dependencies dependencies that we need from our packet.json file that is inside the clone project so there you go we have all of these files that we need to install and it is done once you have this done you will actually have to go on and run this in a dev server so i'm just going to go and copy this and paste that right inside my terminal and hit enter it's actually running on localhost 5173 so let's just click there and this should open up in our browser so there you go we finally have bold.dyi locally installed our machine and the next step is to actually choose your provider so i'm just gonna go and click here and i'm gonna choose olama as my provider let's go and click there and you can see it automatically detected the model that i am running locally right now which is the deepseek r1 32 billion parameters model and i'm going to ask it to actually create something for me so i'm just gonna go with one of the suggestions here which is to make a tic-tac-toe game in html css and javascript only let's click there and this should actually use my local model and as you can see right here it is running locally on my local host so you don't need to connect to the internet so there you go it only took a minute for bold.dyi to create this tic-tac-toe game for me and as you can see i can play this game with two users one is going to be x and the other one is going to be o right now is player o's turn so i can mark this cell here as you can see it's working completely fine and i can reset the game and this was really impressive we also have a separate video on bold so you can go ahead and watch that if you want to go in depth but in this video we covered how we can assess deep seek our run through your browser on their deep seek chat we also went on and installed this locally using olama and run it inside our vs code using the extension and lastly we went on to github and clone bold.dyi and actually created this tic-tac-toe app using our r1 model inside the bold.dyi locally on our machine so these were the three methods of how you can access R1. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.